Hey y'all, it's Sequoia. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. Today I have Kiara with me. So if you have not seen my channel, I started her locks, and a lot of you have been asking, what's the progress, what's going on with her locks? Here they are. They've grown quite a lot. I don't know, when did we do your locks? It was um August 2000. 2018 so almost two years she's had them for almost two years and they're growing quite nicely but she wants extensions she wants them longer because she wants to be able to put them in a bun so <laughs> so that's what we'll be doing today um if you have not go watch that video of how i started her locks and see how we got here where we are now so without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and get started i'll let y'all see the process and all of that and i'll see y'all when we finish hey y'all it's sequoia i have already told y'all what we're going to be doing in the beginning of the video so i'm just going to jump right into it i'm using pre-made faux locks they come in a package. I don't know what brand this is, but it says natural faux locks. They are 20 inches and they are in the color 1B30. Honestly, any brand of pre-made faux locks will do. It doesn't have to be a specific brand. After that, I'm going to be using Marley hair as well. The Marley hair also does not have to be a specific brand. And the Marley hair is also in the color 1B30. And I do believe we used about six packs of the pre-made faux locks and about the same amount of Marley hair. I'm also going to be using crochet hooks. They are needed. I only used one, but Kiara had one and I had one. So we were prepared. We knew what we came to do today. Also, we're going to need nail glue. I would suggest getting two packs of nail glue because we ran out and we had to find some. I am spraying Kiara's scalp with some spray by Pantene just to moisturize her hair. I believe this is the Pantene Gold line and this is my first time using it on anyone's head, but she wanted to try it out, so we did. And in order to install these or make her locks extended, we are going to add the crochet hook through the root of her original natural lock and we're going to put the end of the faux lock through the hoop of the faux lock or through the loop of the faux lock. Pull it tight to make a small knot. It's not super tight but it's also not really bulky of a knot so it'll still look natural. And then that will make it secure. Next I cut the Marley hair in half and I'm going to begin by having a short piece of the Marley hair and a long piece of the Marley hair. I'm going to attach the Marley hair by wrapping it around Kiara's natural lock as well as the extension. And I'm also going to add the short piece of the Marley hair in with Kiara's lock and the extension so that it is secure as I wrap. So basically you're wrapping the longer end around the shorter end of the Marley hair the natural lock and the faux lock to secure everything in place and this is basically what will give the one lock look like this is what binds everything together and also gives length so as you can see I'm running out of the Marley hair so I just grab another half and begin to wrap around it I did not want to stop where Kiara's lock ended because we have to put the glue on at the end to secure it and we don't want to put the glue near her natural hair because we don't want her to cut her lock as she's trying to take the faux locks out. So the takedown of this is pretty simple. You just cut it right above where the nail glue is. You'll definitely be able to feel it. The nail glue is super hard. But you just cut the lock right above the nail glue and then unravel it. So this is basically how we do a basic lock extension. All right, so as I moved on through the rest of Kiara's head, I will do the same thing. However, I'm gonna do it in a different way. So what I will end up doing is just adding the lock extension to every lock in a, in a designated section that I saw fit. So like I'll just section off some of her locks, 
and then add the faux locks to each of those locks instead of adding the faux lock and then wrapping individually. I felt that doing it this way made me go a little bit faster. But I definitely just wanted to show y'all how I did the whole lock in the beginning because I know some of y'all get bored and tired and then you leave and it's like, this is not helpful. But I just wanted to show y'all the whole process in the beginning. So like I said, I'm just going and adding in the faux locks to her natural locks. And you do that by taking the hook through the root of her lock, putting the loop on the hook, pulling it through, and then pulling the end through the loop of the faux lock. So after I have that particular section done in the front, I'll just go back to the beginning of that section and begin wrapping those individual locks that I have already installed with the Marley hair. Also keep in mind that I do have a tutorial on how to install natural looking faux locks and it has nothing to do with installing locks over locks to make it longer but it's just the basic faux lock process. I have that here on my channel. I have the card right here in the top right hand section of my video. You can click on that but don't leave this video. Just click on that and open another browser. <laughs> And then I also have the link in the description box so you can just click that link once you're done with this video. All right, so Spider-Man, AKA Nolan, had to make his debut and I had to show him where to look so he could tell y'all, hello. By the way, he wants a YouTube channel and so does my son. So, you know, once I get mine stable, <laughs> we can work on theirs. 
All right, yay, so now we have all of the locks installed. Now I'm just going to use the got to be glue in the black container. I like this one better than the yellow one for some reason, probably because it's not as flaky, but I'm definitely using this and I'm just applying it to all of her edges at first before I swoop and dupe them, as Kayla Nicole would say. So now it's time to do just that. I'm using an edge brush slash comb to get the edges to perfection. You know, yes, we need that. Even with lock style, sometimes, you know, we want our edges to look nice. So that's what I'm doing. All right, now that we have them nicely in place, we are going to secure them with just a head wrap, and this is silk or satin, one of them, I don't know, um, in addition to spandex. It's all of the above, okay, but it's silky, so it's, it's fine. <laughs> we just wrap the edges and then secure the scarf with a knot. Let it sit for about 15 minutes as we have a drink and chit chat. And then now the 15 minutes, or more are over and we have the big reveal of the edges and they look the same as when I did them <laughs> they're just dry now y'all this got to be glue is like nothing to play with when I tell you like it's so serious because it's so serious and it does when it dries it does tend to get a little bit white not flaky I sprayed a little bit more of the product on my hand from the beginning and just rubbed it on there to get rid of some of the white residue. So now it's time to bun this hair, honey. This is a task all alone. Like this is a task in and of itself. Whew. Okay, so in order to achieve this bun, I'm just gonna put as much hair in my hands as I can and we have a big hair tie. We're gonna wrap it around once just the front section I haven't gone to the back section yet we wrap it around once then I'm gonna have the lovely Kiara to turn and show y'all that I'm going to add section by section of the locks into the hair tie and that is how we get the ponytail All right, so now we have the ponytail. I just pull the hair tie down as far as it will go. Make sure that all the locks are pulled through completely. And then once that's done, I am going to stretch the hair tie and twist it and do the same process over again because we want it wrapped around the locks twice instead of once because if it's only wrapped around once the bun has will have a tendency to fall out of place or just not be as secure so when I stretched the hair tie and I twisted it I'm just gonna hold it and pull the hair through as I did the first time after we have the ponytail securely in place and all the locks pulled through I am going to play with these locks, form the locks into a bun, and it's not the neatest bun, but it's not a messy bun. I hope that makes sense, but it's just like, you just take sections of the locks and wrap them around, secure them, and I'm using, I think I use like two to three hair ties for this bun, because you know, when I leave, what is she going to do? <laughs> she, the bun has to be able to sit high and pretty, okay? So that's what we're working on right now. And this basically is just a process of elimination. Eliminate all the hairs that are loose, all the locks that are loose, and make sure that they are all folded nicely and tied up in this bun, in these hair ties, 
And then after that, we are going to go back and reinforce with a few hairpins or bobby pins, whichever your preference is, it doesn't matter. But we're gonna reinforce with that only on the little small pieces that would not stay in. But other than that, her hair is secure. I told her to shake her head. You can see the bun is not moving. It's a little heavy, but it's not moving. So this is the finished product, y'all. She did like her hair. She was excited. I'm sure you saw a few little clips where she was swinging it or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Trying to give you a little slow motion without it being slow. <laughs> but this is the look. Thank y'all for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Here she is showing off her hair. And that's it. I will see y'all in my next video. Again, thank you. Peace out.